Okay, in this podcast I'm going to show you how to balance uh, the four redox problems that are on page two of your work packet for electrochem. Okay, so the first two I'm going to show you are just plain old balancing without being in acidic or basic solution. Alright, so let's take a look. So, first I need to identify my elements that have changed. Here I've got chlorine by itself, so chlorine is something different here. So chlorine is going from minus 1 to Cl2. 2 there, so I'm going to put a 2 here as a 0. So I need 2 electrons here. And then I suspect chromium. So chromium, that's got a 2 with it. So that's a minus 14 plus 2, so that's a plus 12. Each of these is plus 6. Going to a chromium, I've got to put a 2 there to make it match. And each chromium is a plus 3. So this goes from 2 times 6, or 12 electrons, to 6 electrons. So I need 6 electrons here. Alright, so my chromium is reduced, my chlorine is oxidized. Chromium is reduced because it went down in charge. And now I've got to balance my electrons. So I've got 6 being gained here and 2 being lost. So I've got to multiply this times 3. Okay, and now I can raise my coefficients. So here I have 3 times 2 is 6, whoops, 6 chlorines. And here I have 3 Cl2s. All right, I have Cr2 here, and this has to become a 2 C Cr here. Okay. So now, well, let's take a look and see if everything else is balanced. So let me see. Let's start with the, the potassium. I got two potassiums here, so I need two here. Now I have, let's see. Let's count total chlorines. So I have six chlorine here. Here I have two. Here I have six. Here I have six here. Six here. Two here. That's 12, 14. So I'm going to have to change. The only place I can change them here is I'm going to change my color because I'm becoming difficult to see what I'm putting where. So I have 14 HCLs now. Okay, so let's take a look. So now I'm going to need to adjust the hydrogen here by putting, making that 7. And when I do, now I have 7 oxygens here, 7 oxygens here. All my other counts should be good. So that's going to be a voila, that looks good. Let's take a look at the second one. All right, so... Let me see, I have FeCl2 and FeCl3, so certainly Fe has changed from a plus 2 to a plus 3. So I need one electron here, and I suspect the manganese again, and here we are at plus 7, and manganese plus 2, so I need five electrons here. Okay. Um... What did I say? This was a plus two. So manganese has been reduced. Iron has been oxidized. Now I have five electrons being gained here in manganese. Only one here, so i got to multiply these times five. All right, bring up my coefficients. Five for my Fe's. All right. Now I have... Let me see. My manganese looks good. My iron is good. Chlorine, I have 10 here and 1 here. Chlorine on this side, I have 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Alright, so what I'm going to need to do is... Um, actually, before we do the chlorine let's let's try approaching this from an oxygen standpoint I need four waters on this side to get oxygens and get that balanced and now I have eight hydrogens here so I'm going to try putting, making this an eight and now let's see if my chlorines are balanced so I have five times two is ten I plus eight 
So I have 18 on this side. On this side I have 15, 16, 17, 18. So my chlorines are balanced, my hydrogens are balanced, my oxygens are balanced, and I can say voila. Okay. Now I'm going to do problem three, uh, 4 before I do problem 3. I'm going to stick with problem 1 and 2, and then I'm going to come back in the next podcast and do 3 and 4.